The dry exhaust gas from the oil engine has the following gravimetric analysis. Specific heat at constant pressure for each component of the exhaust gas is right here. Calculate the specific gravity if the molecular weight of air is 28.97 kilograms per kilomole. Well, let's write that down. And we are looking for specific gravity of our gas. So we know that the specific gravity is the ratio between two densities. In this case, it's a ratio between two molecular weights. So in this case, it's the molecular weight of our gas divided by the molecular weight of air. We already have our air right here. So we just need to find the molecular weight of our gas. So first, let's recall the molecular weights of the, of the components of each of our, or rather for each component of our gas. So for carbon dioxide, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, and there's two of them. That amounts to 44. Next is oxygen. We have two oxygen atoms, and that amounts to 32. And lastly, nitrogen. Don't forget to add a 2 here, because nitrogen comes in 2s. And nitrogen has an atomic weight of 14. Of course, there's two of them. So that is 28. So now, we can convert our gravimetric analysis into a volumetric one. And we can do it with the following formula. Volume of our component is equal to the percent mass over its molecular weight. So first, volume of our carbon dioxide, our percent mass is 0.216, divided by the molecular weight 44. And we get 0.0049, then the molecular weight of our oxygen, percent mass 0 0.042, divided by 32, that is 0 0.00131. And finally for nitrogen, 0 0.742 over 28, and we get 0 0.0265. So to find the volume of our gas, we simply need to add these. All of these, rather. Volume of our gas is 0 0.032. 7 to 1 moles per kilogram mole. So to find the molecular weight of our gas, simply get the reciprocal of our volume, which is about 30.65 um, kilograms per kilogram mole. And now we can start putting the values in. And we get a final answer of about 1.055 for our specific gas. If this helped you, consider subscribing to the channel, and of course, liking and supporting me on Patreon. Thanks and good luck.